The key and coordinates the doctor gave you indicates that Strelok has hidden a stash in a room at the Hotel Palicia in Pripyat, so... It looks like I'm going back to Pripyat. Yeah, roughly in this direction should take me back to the laundromat. I'm gonna get rid of some uh, loot, because... I'm pretty heavy. I would fast travel there, but it's not as reliable I find in this version. I actually thought he was going to get a strike on me before I got him, but... Good old weapon. Yeah, all right, let's do that. I think that's all I'll do. What about this? Uh, repair? Oh, that's okay. Uh, yep, yeah, wait for the pistol and fire rate. I think that'll do for now. Could have gone a lot worse, I suppose. Oh, of course, I haven't got any ammo, have I? Yeah, I couldn't get any. Yeah, just happened to see them out the corner of my eye. What a cool controller brain tissue. It's funny what you remember. Uh, there used to be a guy perched up there, just wondering if uh, I'm going to suddenly hear Gauss rifle or sniper rifle uh, fire. I don't think so. Right, the hotel. Looks like we're here. Around here somewhere should be the room matching the inscription on the key. Doctor's key. A key with Hotel Policia, room 26. Alright, let's look for room 26. No idea where it'll be.
Well, presumably I have a door on it. It's a bit lucky. I think that's the one I've just picked up. Strelok's manuscript. Manuscript contains a short report on how Fang and Strelok infiltrated a hidden laboratory and their journey there. It makes mention of large monolith presence in and around the Chernobyl NPP. More specifically, under the concrete sarcophagus, also suggesting it may be their base of operations, but with the intent to hide something. Reading further, it states that they discovered laboratory hidden further in the north under the generators. However, they were unable to gain access at the time of writing as they required the use of a decoder, which I've just picked up by the looks of it. Right, job's done. Nice. Uh, the job is done. Is that another job? Right, yeah. Find the bureau hand. Yep, I am going to stock up on ammo. Um, and what's the other one? The Desert Eagle, so that's uh, 0 0.357. I forget what that looks like. Oh, I've just spent over half my money. What does that mean? Sure, here, 7,000 RUs, rubles. Uh, item received, stone flower. That's going to be uh, radioactive. Let's have a quick look at it. This artifact resembles melted cheese interspread with sapphire like stones. Only a yellow outer shell of the artifact appears to give off irradiation and by careful processing it is possible to extract the non-radioactive blue parts for jewellery and other industrial purposes. This is due to the fact that it, it is that if cleaned properly and polished, sapphire comparison becomes much more explicit. The stones are as hard and durable as this beautiful gem. This quality of theirs and their appearance make them perfect gemstones and jewellers all over the world strive to have them in stock. The usefulness of this artifact, however, is not limited to its industrial applications. There is scientific evidence suggesting that sapphire-like stones effectively protect from psi waves, whereas the outer shell slightly increases resistance to toxicity. However, it can cause objects in its vicinity to heat up and, in extreme cases, to ignite along with the artifact. For this reason, it is safe to conclude that it absorbs heat and, aids, and is able to convey it to other objects. Due to density and the weight of artifact has increased beyond normal standards and thus it is one of the heaviest anomalous creations in the zone. Yeah, five kilos. Radiation output is low on the artifact radiation scale. So it's terrible for thermal and acid. Really bad. Toxicity and psi protection in particular is rather good. I can always re reload, I suppose. Oh, it's stash coordinates. Oh, okay, what the hell? I'll take it. I do believe there was uh, a quest to hand in at Yantar, which... It also means I could sell some other mutant parts, and it isn't far away, actually. So I might just do that right now. Right, the job is done. Cool, 13 grand for just some pseudo-dog meat. I suppose then... Oh, crikey! Oh, well that, uh, broke through, didn't you?
think I probably need repairing. No. Uh, not much though. Yeah, I think the aggro prom is the next area I need to go to. Uh, there are a couple of quests there, so... That's to the underground. And that needs to be done as well. Okay, let's, uh, let's go there. So delivering a package to one of the free stalkers in Lemansk. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see if I can get some gear from the scientists. Oh, I am heavy again. Bloody hell. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm really finding at the moment. I am so out of energy all the time. Let's make it a bit painful. Right, I'll leave that because surprisingly heavy, actually. Uh, let's take one of those just in case. Stalkers versus mutants. If that's a Chishkano, I could do that. My God. I should have used a shotgun. There's a full-blown assault going on, it seems. Yeah, there is a bullet whizzing around somewhere. Oh, nasty.
That guy seemed to disappear. God knows what happened to him. Right, what is that? Is that just a free... That's marginally better. DIY stalker bodysuit is a combination of a bodysuit made of twin-layered rubberized cloth with plexiglass lining and built-in body armor. Despite the fact that the body armor is incapable of protecting the wearer even from pistol bullets, this suit enjoys great popularity due to its low cost and modification potential. Comes with built in armor attachment modules. The Tiger Stripe is the most combat orientated version variation of the Sunrise suit. Designed for stalkers who like to earn money by fighting bandits rather than hunting artifacts or mutants. It protects better from grenade shrapnels, explosions, and gunfire, even when compared to the Bear suit. Tiger Stripe also has a better thermal resistance in case if the enemy was using thermite grenades or IEDs based on explosive powder. This additional protection may also be used to hunt thermal artifacts if the wearer so desires. The name Tiger Stripe comes from the camouflage pattern. It is a mix of multiple shades of brown grey and some dark green accents, allowing the wearer to stay hidden even if the only cover they have is some tall grass. Ah, no wonder I'm struggling. I can't... Didn't have my bloody backpack on. Oh. So the package needs to go to where again? Oh, the... Truck cemetery, I think that is. Uh, yeah, go on then. Let's go there. Okay, so it would appear this guy's uh, very close by, so there he is, I think. Uh, maybe not you, but anyway, is there any work you want done now I'm here? One thing leads to another. Monolith faction patch. Yeah, okay, I'm going for that. Probably won't be very good artifact, but I'll take it. I've got something for you, it's from your friend Breeder. Okay, oh, good. Additional gas pistons advanced. Okay. That wasn't where I was expecting to have materialized. I'm amazed I wasn't seen. Not what I was hoping. Really wasn't expecting to... I suppose I should have paid more attention to where I was going to... ...appear. I think they're getting close.
Last two, better make them count. Uh, hopefully that's it. All oh, right, got the documents, which is what I came here for, which I completely forgot about. Well, I shouldn't think I can carry too much more. I think it might be best just to go to the Skodovsk, if I can. I'm assuming I can fast travel there. Ah, sweet. Actually got a bit more life in here. Four people. Nope. Three, four, five, six, seven, including beer. That's the most I've seen. Right, any work you want done, beard. As a guy, I used to be a regular stalker just like anyone else on the ship. One day, some military officers came and offered him a commission. The next thing we knew, he'd, he's found murdering his former brothers in cold blood. We cannot stand for that. Find this traitor and avenge the men he shot in the back. Junior Lieutenant Dubinchuk. Okay. Kiryaka Space. <laughs> right, do you want any work doing? So his equipment, his equipment's getting worn slowly and... Uh, he says he's been lazy enough to ignore it. I need to repair it as soon as possible. Can you get me some basic sewing kits? I'll give you something nice in return. Okay. It's a funny place to spawn. <laughs> My God. Wow. Do like the sound of this gun though, that's pretty cool. I seem to like it here. Right. Right, job is done. Jellyfish. I have no container for it though. Although I should have been prepared for it. Right, I think... Uh, can I sell you anything quickly? Not much. Bugger all actually. Yeah, I could do with the cash, actually. <laughs> I'll do that. Uh, I didn't think anyone would recognize me as a monolith. I thought I was going to be looked at as a free stalker.
Oh, lucky for you. Ah, oh, they're at it as well. Uh, I've dropped my... I need to quickly use that. Ah, uh, bandage. Oh, this is almost, yeah, no wonder it's some reliable, but beggars can't be choosers. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I thought, surely a knife's going to kill him. Right. 
All right, got the bugger. Not sure about the other one though, I think he's still alive. Not sure. He might be dead. I haven't seen him. He may have got blown down to the other level. Thank you. 